Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're delving into the tragic and shocking case of Muhammad Shamji, a brilliant surgeon and a ruthless criminal. This story highlights the hidden and often overlooked horrors of domestic violence where victims endure abuse, humiliation, and self-blame. Despite their accomplished and respected public personas, the private life of Muhammad Shamji and his wife, Alana Frick Shamji, was a nightmare. Muhammad Shamji and Alana Frick Shamji were both outstanding doctors. Muhammad was a well-known neurosurgeon specializing in the treatment of spine injuries and diseases, while Alana was a respected family doctor with a PhD. Despite their professional success and dedication to saving lives, their private life was marred by violence and abuse, a reality few were aware of. Alana Christina Frick was born in September 1977 in Windsor, Ontario, to Croatian immigrants George and Anna Frick. Alana was a miracle child as Anna had been told she couldn't have more children after her first pregnancy. Alana grew up in a loving family, excelling academically and participating in various extracurricular activities, including dance, gymnastics, and track and field. Her intelligence and determination were evident from a young age and she aspired to become a doctor. Alana's journey to becoming a doctor was marked by hard work and dedication. In February 2003, during a night shift at the hospital, Ilana met Muhammad Shamji, a young neurosurgery resident. Muhammad came from a prominent medical family with his father Farid Shamji being a renowned surgeon and his mother Edith, a talented psychiatrist. Despite a rocky start, Alana fell in love with Muhammad and pursued a relationship with him despite his apparent lack of interest and commitment. Their relationship was tumultuous from the beginning with multiple breakups and reconciliations. Alana's parents were concerned and urged her to leave Muhammad, but she was determined to make it work, believing she had found her true love. She showered Muhammad with gifts and attention, but his interest remained minimal. In the summer of 2004, Alana became pregnant unexpectedly. Muhammad, raised in a strict conservative Muslim family, felt compelled to marry her before the birth of their child. They had two wedding ceremonies to honor both cultural traditions. However, the marriage quickly turned into a nightmare. They moved into a luxurious house in Ottawa and welcomed their first child, Yasmin, in January 2005. However, Muhammad was increasingly focused on his career, showing little interest in his wife and daughter. He was disappointed at not having a son and became verbally and physically abusive towards Alana. The abuse escalated and in the summer of 2005, Muhammad broke Alana's nose in a fit of rage. Alana fled with her baby and filed a police report. Muhammad begged her to return, promising to change, driven by the fear of jeopardizing his career. Alana dropped the charges and followed him to the United States, where he pursued further studies. A period of relative calm followed as Muhammad enrolled in a prestigious biomedical engineering program and Alana enrolled in a master's program at Duke University. They seemed to reconnect and decided to have a second child, welcoming their daughter, Faiza, in 2007. However, Muhammad's disappointment at not having a son persisted and the abuse resumed. In 2009, the family returned to Canada. Alana resumed her medical career while Muhammad balanced work, studies, and teaching. They maintained a facade of a perfect family on social media, hiding the reality of Muhammad's control and abuse. During this time, Alana discovered his infidelity. Despite this betrayal, she forgave him hoping for a fresh start in Toronto, where they had a third child, Marius, in 2013. Muhammad's career flourished, but his attitude towards Alana remained unchanged.
He continued to abuse her, both verbally and physically. During a family ski vacation, Alana suffered a deep cut and other injuries, which she claimed were from skiing, but were actually inflicted by Muhammad during an argument. Alana confided in a friend about the abuse and the affair she discovered. Her friend suggested she leave Muhammad, but Alana was emotionally dependent on him. In the summer of 2016, Alana had an affair with a colleague seeking solace in another man's attention. The affair gave her a sense of being loved and desired, something she hadn't felt in a long time. In November 2016, Alana told Muhammad she wanted a divorce. She met with a lawyer and attended a medical conference, during which Muhammad sent her messages begging her to reconsider. On November 30th, Alana returned home and made a final call to her parents, sounding anxious but assuring them she was fine. Later, it was discovered she had tried to call the police but misdialed. On December 1st, Alana's parents couldn't reach her, and Muhammad claimed she had left for her lover. Her parents didn't believe him and contacted a friend to check on the house. Alana's car was still there, increasing their concern. They reported her disappearance to the police. On December 2nd, a man's dog discovered Alana's body in a suitcase by a river. Muhammad was arrested and their daughter revealed she had witnessed the murder. Muhammad confessed to avoid his daughter testifying, admitting he strangled Alana in a fit of rage. He placed her body in a suitcase and dumped it by the river. In 2019, Muhammad was found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to life imprisonment, with parole possible in 14 years. He was also stripped of his medical license and forbidden from contacting his children or Alana's parents. Alana's parents are now raising the children. Thank you for watching and taking the time to learn about this tragic and complex story. Your support and interest mean a lot. If you found this case compelling and want to hear more about similar stories that delve deep into the hidden aspects of seemingly perfect lives, please subscribe to my channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when new content is available, ensuring you won't miss any of the gripping tales and in-depth analyses we bring to light. Your engagement helps us continue to uncover and share these important narratives. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with others who might find it interesting. Stay tuned for more and thank you for being part of this journey.